Good evening. We're so glad uh, you made time to join us tonight. My name is Lillian Mully and this is the Fashion Watch. Please use the hashtag Fashion Watch to interact with us. Our resident panelists uh, tonight, uh, starting with Ian Bogo, who will be introducing the rest of the panel. <laughs> Ian, I give you the honors. I know you're very good at that. Are you serious? Yeah. Right next to me is Carol Odera. Looking lovely in pink and black. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Burale, who has shed off his suits. Yes. And looking nice with spotted, I don't know if they spotted all those are holes in his socks. <laughs> <laughs> and the lovely, lovely Annabelle in a golden dress. And kudos for opening your store today. Republic. Republic. <laughs> 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 back to you, oh back to you. We'll be talking to Annabelle about her store later <laughs> in the show. And you know Annabelle's style is impeccable, so you know where we'll be shopping, Annabelle. <laughs> so let's begin with what was happening this week. Um, and we'll start with the Starehe Boys Founders Day. And who was there? Former President Jackie. Our President Uhuru Kenyatta, Cabinet Secretary Education Jacob Kaimeni, and Nairobi <laughs> Governor Evans Kidero, among others. I want to start with Evans Kidero because he chose to break the suit, and everybody else is sort of just doing the usual, typical Nairobi suit thing that <laughs> people usually do. <laughs> so let me start with you, Robert. Uh, Evans Kidero, that look for you. Do you like it? It's an absolute total fail. Um, the trouser does not fit very well because it's collecting and gathering them. So I would advise him uh, to get a personal tailor who will tailor make a trouser according to his body shape. Because uh, when a trouser gathers like that, it doesn't look good for a man. Mm. The colors of the coat and the trouser is actually good. It's just that it, it is. Oh, yes, like here, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the trouser is, does not fit well, and uh, the arms of, of, the, of the coat, the, not the right length. Let's hear from Annabelle. Annabelle, for people who want to break the suit and not look too formal, and sort of still look formal, um, w w how could he have done that better, or is, is that appropriate in your view? Right. I mean, I think for this occasion, this was a, a formal sort of obviously presidential occasion. And in this case, it's probably not the best idea to wear a broken suit. Um, a broken suit is to, it, it deformalizes a traditional suit. It makes it more casual, uh, more pedestrian. And so you should probably not break a suit when you're standing in um, auspicious company. And I would also say when you break a suit, it's good to contrast colors. So, for example, wear a gray blazer with a dark pant as opposed to doing the blue mm -hmm. and the navy. Something about that looks unplanned. It looks sloppy. Um, it doesn't look um, presidential. Mm -hmm. Carol, do you want to defend this look? Is it a total fail? Well, I don't see how I can. From the looks of it, 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 it seems like he hit a bit of a growth spot recently and he, he almost wasn't aware of it. And sometimes, you know, sometimes this happens. You are not aware that your body is changing and then suddenly you find you can't. It actually happens to some people. You find you can't mm. fit into your clothes. So you shouldn't feel bad about that. What you do is now you adjust the clothes to fit the body that you have. Mm -hmm. um, in his case, I think, aside from getting a, someone to do bespoke, because I suspect that it's not just going to be this one outfit, it means that he needs to review his entire closet. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you should generally make it a rule to look at your clothes and how they fit you, at sp specific points in the year oh. so that you don't find things like this happening to you then you find yourself committing a faux pas or you're out of clothes for something formal and you ideally should have had something that fits you yeah mm. um ian are we are we being uh, unfair you know how sometimes you have to stand up abruptly because it's the national anthem and then your pants sort of gather i don't know <laughs> in the wrong places <coughs> do you no, know that's I what happened with with, with the, our nairobi governor well you should be conscious about if, if it fits you properly that's unlikely to happen oh. and that one definitely um, fit him properly yeah. <coughs> okay and, and and i like the fact that carol said you know if your clothes feel a bit tight <laughs> maybe you put on a little bit of weight maybe you need to look at your wardrobe maybe you need to see a designer and have other clothes made um but what do you think the hashtag is fashion watch and let's proceed to 
the MTV Base After Party. This happened over the weekend. Um, and this is Shafi Weru and DJ Creme de la Creme. Uh, okay, so really, wow. I'll start with Shafi and you, Robert Bosley. Mm -hmm. He, <coughs> and not really about what he's wearing, but mm -hmm. the tattoos, the scruffy look. The well, what has happened, uh, I think that he's just being Shafi. Mm -hmm. If Shafi was in a suit, I'd be surprised. He has gotten what he wants the public to know. That's his image, and he's going all the way. I would, I would not be surprised if he's tattooed all the way in the back. Uh, so this is a classic case of someone knowing what he wants to fit the public with and has gone full force. Mm -hmm. So with who we know Shafi as, this is not a surprise. This is not a surprise, Carol, but for a personality, for a celebrity, and of course there's a lot of people at this event who may just be told um, from seeing him for the first time that that is Shafi Weru. So um, is this an appropriate look for a radio presenter or... What is he, a hype man? Um, what do you think? I think he's dressed for radio. Um, so that's what he took to the red carpet. Ideally, it's good to formalize a look. I've seen Shafi look better, much, much better than this. He definitely knows how to dress up if he wants to, and he actually has a sense of style. Um, it's just in this case, uh, maybe he just wanted to be casual about it. It was, I mean, if I look at him and DJ Krem, it looks like they just decided to go with the whole, we are just boys and we're hanging out and it's really not a big deal. And that's what they decided to wear. But if I look at his shirt, I actually see that it's, it has African print on it. So it actually does have a touch of something different. It's not necessarily just a plain white t-shirt. Okay. Um, I don't think there's much to talk about here. Let's move on to the next image, which is... This is uh, DJ Piera. Piera McKenna, you know her. She's an actress. Um, she is a DJ as well. And she was trolled recently... Um, because of her new video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, <laughs> yeah, she got quite a bit of flack. But then I watched it and I thought it was fine. She's in great shape. I loved the choreography. But as usual, Kenyans on Twitter weren't too kind. <laughs> Let's talk about um, this look. <laughs> Annabelle. Um, uh, yeah, I was, I was telling uh, my, my co-host <laughs> before the show that I, I, I I go between being a feminist and being uh, super conservative. And today, I think I'm going to pick feminism. <laughs> and I'm going to say that, um, you know, she's an entertainer. She's a DJ. And I think part of entertaining, whether you're a singer or a dancer or a DJ, is, you know, you have to look the part. And I think Piera is really playing to her audience. She knows that, you know, she can, as well as give them, you know, uh, candy for their ears, she can give them some eye candy, and that's what she's doing. And I think that sex appeal makes her as popular as she is right now. And, um, I mean, if you're a woman with a banging body, why not show it off if you're in the entertainment industry? Uh, Robert, you're shaking your head. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> One of the best DJs, but uh, I don't think uh, I agree with showing too much skin, especially in the mid part because her talent is banging. She's brilliant, but I can tell you without fear of contradiction that some of the men were not even listening to the music and were looking at her bare parts. And, and she is a lady. Whether she's a DJ or whatever, she is a lady. There's some things that you're supposed to cover that makes people realize that there's a diamond in that. In that look. what? In the look. <laughs> <laughs> <Come> on. <laughs> yeah. I, I know Piera, and I think she went a bit too much in this one yes we're mm. not quite ready for this and i hope we're never ready for this sort mm. of thing mm. because we're going to have people trying to to say oh she did that i can do better than her and then very soon it will be completely bare yeah yes carol and nudity seems to be selling um what do you think is this nudity is this just fashion it's a little bit of both I would say that if Pierre is dressed like this, this was the MTV after party. Anybody who watches MTV is not surprised that the DJ was wearing something like this. Mm -hmm. oh. Because it fits with the vibe. Mm -hmm. That's okay. exactly the kind of brand they have. And mm -hmm. that's exactly the kind of brand that she has. It was a perfect synchronicity. Mm -hmm. She doesn't dress like this on a day-to-day -day basis. And when she goes for functions, red carpets, she doesn't dress like that. But if she's spinning and this works for her because her sex appeal is part of her brand, then mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Let's, uh, let's talk about this look on Twitter. Hashtag is fashion watch. 
and we're still on the MTV. No, this is a, 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 a different event, and this is Victoria Kimani. And she has made colored hair fashionable. And so let me start with you uh, because of the weave and, and, and the fact that <laughs> I should have started with Carol because of the red. <laughs> but for Victoria, with her bold red or green or blue, this look for you, is this something that Kenyan girls can start doing? Kimani is. Um, I mean, she is a trailblazer, and she's fearless, this girl in fashion. Like, she doesn't care what people think. Think um, she's just she 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 marches to the beat of her own drum. She's a consummate entertainer in the sense that she takes her entertainment sort of beyond just the studio and puts it on her body. Like her outfits are entertainment, and she's very aware that that is the case. That is part of her brand. That is part of what she does. And I think, I mean, last year she was bl she was blue. She had blue hair. Mm -hmm. This year she has red hair. Tomorrow it'll be something completely different. Victoria Kimani keeps 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 us guessing, keeps us talking about her, and uh, she does that in a really good way. I really like. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about wearing boots in the winter, mm -hmm. and we can see that she's wearing that gladiator boot that girls should be wearing in the summertime. Not the heavy winter boots, but the gladiator boots like she's doing. I love Victoria Kimani. Yeah, great. And Carol, I remember when Carol first did red hair, not. Anybody? I don't think I had seen anybody else <laughs> with red hair um, in this country, Carol. So for you, um, this look, um, okay, it's not natural. So <laughs> <laughs> Why you give me that look, Robert? No, I was looking at you. Yeah, looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, like Annabelle says, Victoria just doesn't care what people think about what she wears. Her sense of fashion tends to be informed a little bit by BDSM, I have noticed. She does a lot of black. Leather. It's very, very sexy, and it's very, very out there. Her Fashion sense is very extroverted. In real life, her personality is completely different. But when she's a performer, she's a performer. And I think the reason why we find it odd is because we don't have a lot of female performers in the country. So a lot of personalities tend to be conservative and safe with how they <coughs> perform their music. And she doesn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Ian, your thoughts? I like it. Mm -hmm. She looks nice. Mm -hmm. She stands out. She knows exactly what she's, um, she's doing when she dresses like that. It's for the attention. It's for her image, mm -hmm. and it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as for hair color, don't listen to what other people think. Nah. It's your hair. It's on your head. Leave them alone. Yes, girl. Yes. 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 If today she's red, tomorrow she's yellow, there's a problem in her brand management. Her I brand, don't know her personality. No, her brand is that she's a chameleon. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh that's a brand? Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. She can dream just a chameleon. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like, I mean, she's... She, but I then again, like Carol, I, I read an article, um, I, I think that you wrote once, Carol, you need to talk to somebody. Don't just go blonde because <laughs> Annabelle is blonde. Yes. Think about your skin tone, you know, before you go experimenting with some of yeah. this stuff. And think okay. about how to take care yeah. of your hair once you've colored it. Because yeah. just because you have the color that doesn't mean you know what to do with it after. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well said. And this is Talia Oyando. Um, and this is what she chose to wear at the Maybelline, um, the reveal uh, of the face of Maybelline. Um, this was held a couple of weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago, um, at, at the Ebony Lounge. I'll start with you, Robert. Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> No, I think she looks absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, <coughs> she has, she works so well on her body. She tones her body very well. And this is a case of one lady I have seen grow along the years. She looks good in whatever she has on. I've seen her in shorts, I've seen her in trousers, and she manages to dress her body. And this is when you tell people you need to understand your body before you dress it, whichever way you're going. And this in evening dress, she looks good because uh, she has a small waist. And uh, so that, because of the, what do you call this, Annabelle? I'm not a designer. This, this thing, the overflowing dress? The skirt. Yeah, but what do you call that? <laughs> volume. Volume. <coughs> okay, that volume <laughs> emphasizes more mm. on the strength that is on her waist. And I think it's an um, absolutely fantastic thing. And Annabelle, she's posing for the camera. This is the red carpet. We don't see a lot of um, Kenyan girls, you know, doing this. She's proud. She's clearly very proud of what she's wearing, she's showing it off yeah. to the cameras. What do you think about this look on Talia? All the fly girls are on Fashion Watch tonight, and <laughs> Talia is no exception. Um, she's on a red carpet, and she's clearly planned her outfit in advance. She knows how she's gonna pose, she knows how she's gonna look, 
And um, that's really what it takes to look good on the red carpet is mm -hmm. some fore planning. Talia has done that here. She's wearing um, sort of that peekaboo trend that we saw um, a lot um, this past season uh, where it's do you see it or do you not see it? Um, it's very risque. It's naughty. She's doing it actually very well. Um, and then I really love her silver oh, um, yeah. braids. Yeah. Um, I, you know, that's a very sort of modern, contemporary way to style your braids. And you know, this is a, just a contemporary person, woman in media, killing it really. Yeah. Mm. Next is Patricia Kihara in Ankara, and um, I'll start with you, Carol, um, and Patricia's look for that event. Well, Patricia looks beautiful. <coughs> she always has this, um, she has a sex appeal that is very demure, mm. you know, and only she seems to manage to do that. It's a very distinct style that she has. So her clothes are very fitted. She's a very beautiful woman. She always knows what works for her and she always knows which part to emphasize. She never goes over the top. It's very, very streamlined, you know, and it's obviously always bespoke. Mm. Yeah. Ian, is this eye-catching? Very. Yeah. I love her. She looks really good she's very pretty she's got a very lovely body mm. and she sings beautifully mm. i mm. love everything about her mm. <laughs> okay and annabelle i want to get your thoughts on patricia's shoes because you always uh talk about the clunky heel and preferring the sandal in the evening do you think that this worked for um this uh, this ankara skirt do you think that the shoes worked yeah, actually, I, I, I'm a proponent all the time of if you're going out at night, then don't wear an office shoe. I always say that don't wear a court shoe, don't wear a clothes shoe. But in this case, um, you can see that she's picked up in her metallic pump, mm -hmm. she's picked up the metallic accents in her skirt. And so it's completely appropriate in this case. Okay. And Patricia never gets it wrong on the <laughs> fashion world. <laughs> Okay, and our designer, the hashtag is Fashion Watch, guys. Please um, let us know what you're thinking about uh, the trends on Fashion Watch tonight. And tonight, our designer in the house, um, let's take a look at some of her designs. And our designer this week is Cynthia Opondo. Thank you very much for finding time to be on the Fashion Watch. Let's take a look at some of your designs. What I will say is very unique about you, Cynthia, is the fact that you've brought us a size 12, a size 10, and perhaps, I don't know, I don't want to go, I don't know what size, but then different sizes, so that's good. Uh, tell us, what is your brand name? Um, when did you start designing? Uh, my brand name is Emigate Fashions. Mm -hmm. I started designing, I think, seven years ago. Seven years yeah. ago, so you're yeah. doing this professionally. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you describe your style as? What do you design specifically for? 
Um, I don't do almost everything. I do African wear. I do official, official wear. I do kids wear. Okay. Mm. I'll kindly ask you to speak up so that um, the mic can, can can get your voice nice and clear. Okay. Let me invite um, the Fashion Watch panel to critique uh, your work, starting with you in Annabelle. Um, give us your thoughts on, on this style. Well, um, I'm sure the Fashion Watch audience are appreciating um, these beautiful African women <laughs> that are um, your models tonight. I mean, this is such a, it's refreshing to see um, real people um, modeling for you, real women. <laughs> Um, sort of African women represented in their hair so, and in their clothes. So it's, it's, it's really nice to see. I, I, I think a lot of the audience will see themselves in your models, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, I particularly like the middle outfit. Um, the reason I like it is not just because it's a, it's a real woman proportion, but also because you've made, um, you've somehow managed to uh, make a demure outfit look sexy. Um, I really like the way you've conformed to the curve of the woman, and I love the way that you've still added that cutout in the front mm -hmm. that, you know, doesn't make her sort of covered head to toe. There's mm -hmm. a little bit of um, sexiness there that you're playing with. So I, I like it. I would say you have to be really careful with quality, um, especially when you're using two different types of material, when you're going from lace to cotton. I think that, um, that um, where those two meet, there really needs to be it really needs to be a strong quality finish, but otherwise you're de designing for real people. So that's that's really great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cynthia. The lady, um, the model in the middle, that's a size what? This is size 16. Size 16. Yeah. Okay, and that actually slims, sort of gives her a very slim proportions. All that. Okay, Carol. Um, what do you think about um, Cynthia's designs? <coughs> well, I noticed that um, you know uh, your designs are very eclectic. Not just this ones, but the ones you also saw on the screen. And I find that a lot of designers struggle with finding a voice for their brand. And you need something that is so consistent that regardless of who you design for, if someone comes to you, they know that there's something they're getting from you that they can't get from any other designer. So you need to figure out what that is so that it doesn't look like you're just picking and choosing depending on who walks through the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Ian, what are your thoughts? Um, I love them. I love especially the middle one. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is really classy. I like, and the fact that, th you know, they're diagonal, the lines, mm -hmm. makes her look very slim. Yeah. Okay, great. Lovely. Great, great. And um, Robert? I just love the fact that we are seeing two very different designs, uh, all well done, uh, because uh, the middle is proper African lady going for a function, and the lady, the first lady, the one in the white skirt, you can wear that in an evening office party and still look good. The other lady, uh, that's a nice wedding outfit that you can look good during the wedding, uh, the church ceremony, and also get down dancing in at the reception. Uh -huh. And, and I actually, I love the fact that you've said you do children, you do men. Uh, we, we get to a place whereby we, it's not like when you need it, we got it. I just hope then you, you still maintain your excellence even when I come with my daughter you still do something as good as you do for the African lady. Um, Cynthia, are the braids a coincidence? Um, is this part of the styling? Is this part of the overall look that you were going for? Yeah. Yeah? Um, tell me again. Are the braids a no. coincidence? No, 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 it's a coincidence. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so we know what's, 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 what's great about um, the, the, the dress that the model in the center has on Annabelle um, some tough love here what don't you like about um, you know perhaps any of the other two yeah I mean now it's it's pretty much nitpicking at this point but I think um, sometimes when uh, Kenyan designers tend to favor really jarring colors you know um, and sometimes I think subtlety will take you a lot further um, so bright pinks, bright blues, I think sometimes when your fabric selection is a little more subtle, it'll appeal to a wider audience because really jarring colors are more, they come off as a little bit youthful, um, whereas a mature audience probably likes a more subtle, more subtle hues, um, more, um, you know, grays, browns, um, earth tones. I think those are more universal colors. But again, that's just nitpicking. <laughs> Okay, so Cynthia, where can people find you very quickly as we wind up? Um, we're at Beersher Street, a okay. building called Bank Okay. Yeah. And on Facebook, are you? Are we on Facebook and also on Instagram? Okay. Are you wearing your own design? Yes. Okay, could we take a look at that, please? Mm -hmm. 
So this is one of her designs. All right, thanks, Cynthia. And as we close the show now, um, Annabelle, tell us about your new move. <gasps> <laughs> um, Art Garden City. What yeah. inspired your decision to finally open a store? Yeah, I mean, the reason why I have these bags under my eyes, Lillian, is because I've been working on a store for so long. Um, it's called Republic. Um, it's the brainchild of my partner and I. I'm not alone in this because it's a huge undertaking. Mm -hmm. um, so my partner, Emma, and I uh, created this brand, Republic. It's, it's homegrown. Uh, we supply clothes, women's wear, actually. Very affordable, accessible. Um, and it's really for everybody, so everyone should come and check it out at Garden City, Garden City Mall, second floor. We're open seven days a week. Come through and see what we created. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good stuff, Annabelle. Good for you. Thank you. That's all the time we had tonight. And the hashtag is Fashion Watch. Please keep talking to us. Do you want uh, to sit with a Fashion Watch panel next week? Are you a designer? Do you do shoes? Do you do bow ties? Do you do jewelry? Do you do whatever it is that you do, please um, send us quick pics using the hashtag Fashion Watch and you might get a chance to sit with a Fashion Watch panel. Thanks for watching. That's all the time we had. Have a lovely evening. Good night. Jeff Franks in the name.